What is a rock's favorite way to travel? In a rocket! Ha 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 ha! Today for Fine Arts, we are going to learn about another famous rock, Norman Rockwell. Classical Conversations, Cycle 3, Fine Arts, Week 16, Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell was an American painter and illustrator. He made a lot of art that reflected American life. He made cover illustrations for a magazine called the Saturday Evening Post. He did that for nearly five decades. Do you know how many years five decades is? Well, a decade is 10 years. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Wow, five decades is 50 years. Norman Rockwell was born in New York. He lived from 1894 to 1978. And if you look at the timeline, he was born five years before the Boer Wars in Africa and passed away five years after Watergate when President Nixon resigned. All of these events happened during Norman Rockwell's lifetime. In 1916, when he was 22 years old, he painted his first cover for the Saturday Evening Post. That was one year before the U.S. entered World War I. Do you remember our history fact for this week? In 1917, President Wilson asked Congress to enter World War I against the Central Powers two years after German U-boats sank the Lusitania, killing American citizens. That was the year after Norman Rockwell painted his first cover for the Saturday Evening Post. He made cover illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post for 47 years. In total, he made 321 cover illustrations. Wow, that's a lot of illustrations. Do you know what an illustration is? It comes from the word illustrate. Illustrate means to make a picture that helps explain or make something more clear. It can be a drawing, a painting, or even a chart. Norman Rockwell's illustrations tell stories of American Wita. Oops, uh, I mean life. American life. Wita means life in Latin. And sometimes I get mixed up and I start speaking Langlish. That's when I mix together Latin and English. What I meant to say was, Norman Rockwell's illustrations tell stories of American life. Let's take a look at some of his illustrations. This is Norman Rockwell's most famous illustration. It's called Freedom from Want. It's a painting from his Four Freedoms series. What do you see? I see a big turkey and it's making me hungry. I see lots of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven people! There are some older people, some adults, and even a young girl. They look like they're talking to each other and having a good time. That grandpa looks like he's excited to eat that turkey. My favorite person is the man at the bottom corner. He looks like he's looking at me and wants me to be part of the celebration also. This makes me think of family dinners during the holidays. I like family dinners. They're my favorite. Do you have family dinners? Who usually joins in on your family dinners? Do you have siblings, aunts and uncles? family friends, and grandparents? The next painting is called The Problem We All Live With. 
What do you see? I see a girl in a white dress and some grown-ups in front of her and behind her. They have bands on their arms that say Deputy U.S. Marshal. I see something red on the floor. It looks like a tomato. But there's a splatter on the wall and it looks like the tomato hit the wall and then fell on the floor. What do you think happened here? Well, I'll tell you the story of this painting. The little girl in this picture is named Ruby Bridges. She was a real six-year-old African-American girl who was the first black child to desegregate the all-white William Franz Elementary School in Louisiana. In a few weeks, you'll learn that Brown versus Board of Education in 1954 said that the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that segregation of public schools by race was unconstitutional. In real life, some people were upset about this. Some people rejoiced that this was happening, but some people were upset. So, I think somebody tried to throw a tomato because they were upset. This became an iconic image of the Civil Rights Movement. Let's look at one more illustration. This one is called The Runaway. What do you see? Why do you think it's called The Runaway? Do you see the red thing at the bottom? What do you think that is? That's a handkerchief tied on a stick. That's the classic sign of someone who tries to run away from home. Who do you think that man in blue is? What kind of uniform do you think he's wearing? Where do you think they are? How does this picture make you feel? Are you scared? Worried? Excited? Calm? Hmm. Norman Rockwell illustrated American life, and his pictures tell a story. Now we're going to illustrate something from your own life. For today's art project, we are going to draw an illustration inspired by Norman Rockwell. He drew pictures of American life, and I want you to draw a picture of something that is inspired from your everyday life. What is something that you enjoy? Do you enjoy reading books? If so, you could draw a picture of you reading a book. Do you have a pet? If so, you can draw a picture of you playing with your pet. Something that I enjoy is riding my scooter. So I'm going to draw a picture of me riding my scooter. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some markers. I like using a pencil first because if I make mistakes, it's easy to erase.
After you have it sketched out, trace it over with a black marker. And here you go, an illustration from my life inspired by Norman Rockwell. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about other fine artists, subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.